on it's master aquatics and i'm bringing you guys another video all right so i am doing a unboxing video as you can see i got two packages and this is going to be a different unboxing video this is a non live fish unboxing um, i actually ordered some stuff for my aquariums and i ordered quite a few things and i just wanted to share with you guys what i ordered so here we go hopefully you guys are ready uh, first thing that we ordered here is uh, top secret I can't show you guys what this is but if you stick around to the end of the video you'll find out what it is this is a sponge filter I got two of these guys and the reason why I got these is because I need one for my 29 gallon tank and I need one for my 20 gallon tank these sponge filters are pretty high quality if you ask me they are pretty thick they're not too soft and they look like they're made to last to be honest um, these are pretty big they're about the width of your hand so be prepared for that I also like to put the plastic tubing on my sponge filter I feel more safe especially with fry um, it's harder for them to get stuck in there when there's a plastic tubing with the bubbles coming out of it the instructions are in, in Japanese I believe and in English um, the second package that we have here is a special one. Now, I've been needing a air pump for quite some time now, and I decided to go with this Uni Sea Life air pump. It's extremely quiet, and I've had, uh, I have one of these already. I just needed another one, so I know how good they are. And this is why I decided to go with one of these. You can try going with a Tetra Whisper or another brand. Um, those are good brands as well but this one is just extremely quiet not only that I like the sleek black design on this thing it really makes it look good um, better than you know like a gray or a bluish type color um, I prefer black uh, black is the best color on a air pump personally if you ask me and the cool thing about it is it has a dial that you can turn left and right which will allow you to increase airflow or decrease airflow um, and you know it's a pretty reliable product um, if you are thinking about getting an air pump I'd recommend that you get one from UniC Light. oh man I forgot all about this one uh, this one's special too so I'm afraid I won't be able to show you this one right now guys stick around to the end of the video uh, next up we have a white box what could be in a white box what would you order in a white box master aquatics well I'll tell you what and I'm actually pretty excited to show you guys this liquid fertilizer for my planet tank uh, I'm always using Seachem and I like Seachem I like Flourish Excel and all the other liquid fertilizers but too many bottles this one takes all the guesswork and everything is in one bottle at least that's what it claims so I can't wait to try it out and see how well my plants react to it hopefully it's good supposedly it's safe for shrimp as well and and fish um, and a lot of the reviews on it on Amazon said that it was pretty good so I think I'll take my chances on the word of mouth and uh, give this a go I mean, what's the worst that can happen with bad liquid fertilizer? I don't think it can harm your tank at all, can it? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Remember guys, if you're interested in any of these products, make sure to check the links down in the description. These are all the items that I ordered. So I ordered a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 items. Just about 6 items. Now you might be wondering, okay, can we go ahead and see what are in the white wrapping and the black wrapping? Well, of course. Now this is very important because I've been raising baby angelfish. So I made sure to stock up on some baby brine shrimp because I was running low. They go through baby brine shrimp containers pretty quickly. Now, what is in this wrapping? Well, this is something that I've needed for a long time. And I recommend that anybody who have... Who has a planet tank or is wanting to get a planet tank then I would recommend that you get some utensils for planting and trimming and just caring for plants because doing things by hands is not the way that you want to be doing things when you have a planet tank with a planet tank you want to make things easy go ahead get yourself some utensils remember the links are in the descriptions 
description, excuse me, singular, not plural, in case you're interested in any of these products. I think my most used tool out of all those is going to be the trimmer because the crypts that I got are going to be extremely big. They're really big bushy plants and I've never given them a trim um, but I need to go ahead and do that soon because they are just getting out of control. So with the sponge filter you know it's they're fresh out the box so I want to go ahead and I want to rinse them out make sure there's no debris or you know anything that shouldn't be on the sponge filter you know like dust dirt or whatever um, I just go ahead and just rinse it out in tap water you can rinse it out in fish water as well tank water um, I just do it from the tap uh, I do this all the time never hurts to fish if you're not comfortable with it then please don't do it um, so you again I'm just giving them a good rinse now I initially thought that by ordering the air pump that the air pump was going to come with some airline tubing but unfortunately did not so I did have to run to Petco to go buy some airline tubing and for that small piece it was like four dollars um, I was just disappointed that's one of the main things I didn't like about the air pump is that it did not come with airline tubings because um, I've always bought air pumps and they would come with the airline tubing so I don't know why they didn't do it this time um, but I guess uh, they're different but anyway so I went ahead and set them up they're really easy to set up I have a video on setting up sponge filters you can also see that video down in the description down below make sure to check it out it's a short video with very simple instructions uh, what are sponge filters for well sponge filters are perfect for baby fish um, hang on the back filters will kill your baby fish so you can use sponge filters which won't harm your fish at all um, so I went ahead and I got the sponge filter from the 10 gallon tank and put it into the 29 gallon tank um, I did this because I wanted to um, position uh, that particular sponge filter to the 29 gallon tank just to make sure the wirings are not all over the place and stuff like that just to organize things a little bit I also went ahead and post uh, excuse me not posted but put the sponge filter in the 20 gallon tank also I'm not sure if I've showed off the 20 gallon tank just yet um, but I think today in this video would be the first time um, that's the 10 gallon tank with their new sponge filter it was the only filter that they had in their tank and the sponge filter previously before this one was already cycled this sponge filter is not cycled but I don't see the harm because the sponge filter will just absorb the water into it and it will grow the beneficial bacteria there's not too much beneficial bacteria in the water but I believe it's just enough to get the sponge filter seasoned the right amount so that way the fish don't die um, these are my baby Philippine blue from my Philippine pair um, they actually laid eggs and this time I was able to hatch them and uh, feed them and take care of them and all that good stuff it's a decent sized batch I haven't really lost any fry I haven't seen any deaths um, but you know that can happen down the road who knows um, they're doing really good they eat all the time uh, they're little piggies um, and their tank is pretty simple it's just bare bottom when they now have a new sponge filter which is going to help with reducing water changes um, not that I don't like doing water changes but you know sometimes I'd rather have some me time you know what I'm saying also I wanted to point out that the bottom part of this aquarium is painted yellow and then the middle is painted blue and then above the blue there's a strip of yellow again I'm not sure what caused me to go with this color combination but it turned out great in my opinion um, not sure about you guys but let me know down in the comment section what you guys thought of that color combination now if you're wondering why these baby angelfish are pinkish and orangish it's really because they were just fed prior to filming this video um, they are not hungry at all um, although if I threw in some baby brine shrimp in there they would eat it but then they would die because their bellies would explode it's really easy to overfeed these guys so you always want to watch out for that um, 
don't overfeed them also make sure you do frequent water changes and you should be good to go when it comes to angelfish fry i always hatch the eggs on my own i found that to be easiest um rather than have the parents do the work um if you get lucky enough to have a pair that will raise the eggs to free swimming and free swimming to a juvenile um then you'll be really lucky because i haven't had a pair that was like that all my pairs have always ate their eggs or tried to eat their eggs it was just impossible for me to get an angelfish pair that would not eat their eggs so keep that in mind all right guys so that's the end of the video my name is master aquatics i'll see you guys in the next video subscribe like comment take care bye Thank you, young God, for the blessing, ayy. Hey.